to use our Google Mobile Ad Unity plugin, we will talk about banners today. Uh, well, actually, uh, in the example you got with the plugin, you have the example how to manage uh, two banners at a time. So we'll talk a little bit more about it. So if you want to create banner on your game, uh, you should create Google Mobile Ad Banner instance. Uh, there is two ways how to do this. The first one is create banner using Google Mobile Ad Create Ad Banner and specify X and Y banner position and the banner size. And the second way, uh, specify the banner anchor and banner size. The banner anchor is basically the same as uh, text anchor in Unity. To find out what banner size you can use, you can just simply go to the declaration of Google Mobile Ad Banner Sanam. And here you see that there is uh, two banner types which you can use for the phones and tablets and three more types which you can use for tablets only. And the common question, if you do want your banner to get all your device width, you should use actually the smart banner. Okay, so uh, as soon as you created the banner, uh, the content request will be sent to the Google and as soon as banner got the content loaded, it will appear on your device screen. Uh, if you don't want banner to appear as soon as banner is loaded, you can prevent this using the uh, banner show on load false. If you will set this flag to false, banner will not be loaded, will not be showed as soon as the content is loaded. But you will of course uh, get the same events uh, for the banner. Um, basically to find out what events you uh, may listen uh, for banner, uh, you can go to the Google Mobile Ad events and you will see there is a a uh, bunch of events which is dispatched by the banner so you can find out when banner was loaded when it was failed when it was open closed or left the application uh, to listen the banner event you should add listener on this banner instance uh, the good way is to do this as soon as you created it so basically after you created the banner and you want to find out when the banner content is loaded you can listen uh, by uh, banner at event listener uh, Google Mobile add events add banner loaded and specify the function which will be called as soon as this banner content will be loaded something like banner one content loaded so that is how you basically should listen for the events uh, there is also a few useful function uh, to manage the banner the banner refresh it will initiate the banner uh, refresh, uh, but actually uh, you cannot use this function because uh, all banners have automatic refresh and refresh time is uh, specified in the Google Mobile uh, ad site. But do not afraid if you do not see that banner is uh, got refreshed because this feature is not work on a test mode. It will work only in production. The banner hide function will hide the banner. Uh, but function call will be ignored if banner wasn't loaded or it already hidden. Uh, show function will show the banner, but of course the uh, function call will be ignored if banner wasn't loaded or it already on screen. And if by any reason you just want to destroy the banner instance, you can do this using Google Mobile Ad Destroy Banner uh, and specify the banner ID. Actually, I do not recommend to do this because it's much better if you will create all banner types you need for your application somewhere on initial stand and then you will just manage those banners to using hide and show function. But if by, by any reason you need to destroy banner, you may use this function. There is also a few available, a few flags available which will help to handle the banner. That is, is loaded flag, which is specified if banner content is loaded and false if it's not and the banner is on screen which is true if banner is currently on screen and false if it's not so basically that is all what you need to know to manage banner properly uh, so good luck with the project and happy development